Yeah, now we're talking. The following is a Hell in a Cell match. Making his way to the ring from the pits of Hell. Weighing in at 326 pounds, The Machine. I'm all for tough competition, but this one likes to take things too far. Their matches can be downright gruesome sometimes, the way they go after their opponent. This industry isn't about being gentle, Saxton. You have to be a little mean sometimes to ensure the win. If anything, I think the intensity can be turned up in the ring. Here comes the street champion. And his opponent, representing the bloodline from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds. One half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, Solo Sikoa. Had a meteoric rise in NXT, multiple main event matches, and the NXT North American title and has already made an impact on the main roster, becoming a part of the bloodline. Sokoa only has one thing on his mind right now, and that's destruction. This could get ugly fast. Corey, did you ever imagine what it felt like to withstand punishment from Hell in a Cell? I did, but I'm glad I get paid to talk about it now. I mean, Hell in a Cell is carnage. Hell in a Cell is pandemonium. Superstars know they must enter a Hell in a Cell with a different mindset and be a version of themselves they have never been before. Remember, anything goes, but the only way to win is pinfall or submission in the ring. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Slam. That is the kind of move that leaves our jaws on the floor. Unbelievable. What a barrage of stomps. Sakoa just unable to stop this attack. Solo's perseverance being tested. Into the corner now. Oh, strikes with the back elbow. It is almost impossible to prepare for Hell on Earth, but Corey, what is the key to coming out on top in this one? You gotta do things you never thought you'd have to do before, that you never wanted to do before, because this is an environment like no other. The competitors must channel a primitive, barbaric version of themselves. DDT! Taking flight. Body on body. Wow. And into the count. Two just gets the shoulder up. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. What a barrage of stops. You got to wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. Solo must be getting phased by this attack. Solo needs to start reacting quicker. Super oh, human. The amount of force behind that is enough to knock a normal person out. He's not even close to being done yet. The stomp in every single part of his body. And if the first stomp doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. demonstration of power no other way to say it guys that looked like it hurt a lot not getting the two at this point has got to say something uh -oh. up this is uh oh quick thinking pays off Sokoa spinning solo massive offense from the street champ Capitalizing on Sokoa's mistake. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. 
Boo him all you want. He's just feeding off it more. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. Comes back into the ring. Treating them like trash, adding insult to injury. Yes, the trash can connects. Talk about taking out the trash. Ow! One wicked attack after another. These are the kind of attacks that completely throw off your equilibrium. Bam! Here comes a trash can for you. This is getting more and more alarming with each uninterrupted attack. Leg drop! These men are looking battered and bruised. You have to believe the end is near. Bruised but not broken. This one is going as long as there's breath in their lungs. And he goes into the ring. DDT plants them. And he's already taken more hits up there than he should have to handle. He fends off the attack. Oh, oh man. Dropping the leg. Look at this. Just what a barrage of stomps. The stomp in every single part of his body. And Sokoa on the receiving end again. Sokoa needs to better assess the situation to turn this around. Crucial turnaround there because Solo was falling behind. Yeah, Sokoa getting some newly determined focus. Big clothesline. Let him have this moment. He's earned it. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. DDT! We may be moments away from Solo's demise. He wants it one more time. There it is. That is a game changer. The lights are out for Sokoa. That's got to be it. There's two. He kicks out somehow. Are we sure that wasn't three? Uh, just about as close as you can get. That was the best weapon in the arsenal, but it wasn't enough to produce an end result. survives hell in a cell. Let's take a look at some of the action that proves hell in a cell is the most dangerous match in WWE. Here is your winner, The Machine. The typically dominant Solo Sokoa struck down in defeat. The taste of defeat in Sokoa's mouth. As dangerous as this man is, something like this can only add fuel to his fire.